Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. The Xperia 10 and 10 Plus are part of Sony's new generation of mid-range phones, and they've just arrived. Let's take a look at what makes them special. Just like the flagship Xperia 1, the Xperia 10 and 10 Plus bring this year's new tall and skinny design. Unlike the flagship though, these mid-rangers aren't made of glass, but of a plastic unibody with a metallic finish. The two look and feel almost identical, with the Plus model mostly having some changes in the internals, as well as being a little bigger. Keep in mind that unlike the flagship model, the 10 and 10 Plus aren't waterproof. The standout feature of these phones is the ultra-wide IPS LCD screen, which has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio and a 1080p resolution. Some people might find a benefit in that there's no notch cutout for the selfie cam, although the top bezel is rather large. The wide aspect ratio is supposed to be a better fit for ultra-wide video, but since that isn't so mainstream, I find the biggest benefit to be the extra content you can fit on the screen on vertically scrolling apps. However, since the screen is quite narrow, especially on the smaller Xperia 10, you'll have to get used to the small keyboard when typing. The side-mounted fingerprint reader is sort of like the ones on the older Xperia phones, except here, it's separate from the power button. Unfortunately, you don't get stereo speakers on either of these phones. Both have a single bottom-firing one. But on the bright side, they do have a 3.5mm audio jack, so no worrying about an adapter for your headphones. Storage is expandable on either phone via microSD, on top of the 64 gigs already built in. The Xperia 10 Plus has a 3000mAh battery, while the smaller Xperia 10s is around 2900mAh. Neither is very large, so we'll have to see how their battery life holds up. One major difference between the two models is the chipset. There's a Snapdragon 630 on the Xperia 10 and a Snapdragon 636 on the Plus model. We expect a bit better performance out of the 10 Plus. Both phones run pretty much stock Android 9 Pie, with just a few extra features thrown in. For example, SideSense allows you to access customizable shortcuts by tapping on the edge of the screen. The Xperia 10 Plus has a true dual camera setup, a 12 megapixel main cam, and an 8 megapixel telephoto cam for zooming. In contrast, the Xperia 10's secondary cam is just a depth sensor for portrait mode. We'll have a detailed analysis of the quality in our full reviews. You can also shoot 4K video on the Xperia 10 and 10 Plus, which have Sony's steady shot stabilization. You can't use the Plus's optical zoom while recording though. So there you have it guys. With this ultra-wide form factor, both the Xperia 10 and 10 Plus look quite a bit different from the other mid-rangers on the market. Do you like what you see? Let us know down in the comments below as well as any questions you might have and we'll try to answer them in our full reviews. See ya!